you're set to start your first group coaching program or your second group coaching program. And as you prepare the best program outline from your perspective, you might be so ready to enroll all of those wonderful clients, one of those wonderful students to come into your program. And well, you have the classic problem of an empty chat box and sometimes just nobody else but themselves in the Zoom room. So you may be wondering, why is it that I do not have any group coaching clients? Well, I'm gonna give you some reasons today and some strategies that you can use to overcome such reasons to create a phenomenal group coaching program with also enough clients in that group coaching program that you get more success. Ready for that? The first and the fundamental reason why you are struggling to enroll people into your group coaching program is unclear value proposition. You see, most group coaching programs are designed from the perspective of the coach. You are the coach and you say, well, I want to create a group coaching program around X. And that may seem like the right approach, but that often doesn't really resonate with your clients. See, group coaching programs, so the people that sign up for group coaching programs usually sign up for a very particular result. They want to build a new habit in the next 60 days. They want to be able to heal their relationship. They want to lose weight. They want to increase their business profit margin. A very specific outcome, and it needs to be so specific that it's clear for your client as to why are they going to say yes. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make your value proposition really, really clear. What is the outcome that your client can expect in 60 days, in 90 days, in a year? However long your group coaching program is, there should be a clear understanding of where they are and where they will be after the coaching program is over. And the more clear your value proposition, the easier for them to say yes. Now that brings me to the second reason. Let's say you've defined your value proposition really right. You're like, Ajit, I've got the value proposition. Look at my page. It says perfectly exactly what you get in the end. Well, the second reason why coaches fail to enroll more people into group coaching programs is because of ineffective marketing strategies. You see, the world of internet or internet marketing per se is so surrounded by the idea of launches that we think everything should be a launch. And a launch period or the launch window is all of the window that you need to enroll everybody into your program. It is true if you have a big group of individuals that are waiting to sign up with you, if you have maintained an email list or a very strong social media following or some YouTube channel where people really continuously week after week watch your content. Yes, you can launch a product and you can fill the entire group fairly quickly. But what if you don't have all of those things? Well, that is where your marketing strategies or the way you promote your program changes. You're not looking for one big launch event. What you're looking for is small daily interactions and in communicating with precisely the individuals that would be interested in the outcome, the value proposition that you have for your group coaching program. See, depending on where you are in your journey, your marketing strategies need to change. The marketing strategy that works for me may not work for you if you're just starting out your career. Even if you are a really seasoned coach, but you have never maintained an email list, you've never maintained a phone list, you've never maintained a, a Facebook group or an Instagram following, it may be much difficult for you to enroll into your group coaching program using the same strategies that I use. So what you need to really ask is, based on where you are in your journey, based on interactions of the world with you, based on interactions of your potential clients with you, what is the most effective way to communicate the value proposition that you have? And secondly, how much time you're gonna need to communicate that value proposition? Let me give you an example. Say you're a business coach and you're building a program that helps clients generate more profit over the next 60 or 90 days. If you're building that group coaching program and you've never maintained an email list of individuals who might be in business, well, you may need to pick up the Rolodex or your phone book and start calling each of the companies that you've worked with in the past five years or call your past colleagues or call people that you've met in different places, different events and be able to engage them one person at a time. While if you have an email list, you may launch something in a week to enroll one person at a time may take you a month. So don't ask what marketing strategy worked for somebody else. Ask where you are in your journey and what may be the most effective marketing strategy that you can pursue to be able to fill your group coaching program. The third reason that you may be struggling to enroll people into your group coaching program only becomes valid once you're clear about the outcome that your client gets, when you have a good idea of how to market to them or what marketing strategy should be deployed based on where you are in your career, in your journey, in your database and so forth. And that is poor program structure. A lot of the times we create group coaching programs based on how we do one-on-one -on -one coaching or 
Even worse, we think of group coaching programs as online programs, and we start designing our group coaching program to look very much like an online program. Well, if it's an online program, you have no real distinction, you have no real elements of coaching that distinguishes your program from anything else. When you're designing a group coaching program, you must understand and consider that there needs to be high engagement in this program, weekly outcomes in this program, follow through in these programs, because if you don't have these other elements, while the program may sound right, you may not get results for your clients. See, the only thing that keeps your group coaching program exciting for the next batch and the next batch and you getting referrals and more people signing up for your programs is the quality of outcome that you were able to generate for your clients. If you are able to deliver a high quality outcome for your client, you will be able to create a beautiful group coaching program where people constantly enroll and re-enroll into your group coaching programs. And so you want to consider how you've structured the programs. What are the elements that have been added into the program that leads to transformation, engagement, and some kind of accountability so your clients are feeling that they need to engage back into the program because they are always being held accountable, that there is relationship between you and your clients. If you do not have engagement, if you do not have results, if you do not have accountability in your group coaching programs, there's a big possibility that once the program starts, your clients will disengage and you will struggle to re-enroll or enroll new clients into your group coaching programs. The fourth reason is so very important, and that is when somebody is about to say yes to your group coaching program, what they look for is evidence, some way for them to know what you are saying works actually works. And for that reason, it is important and critical for you to somehow include stories or social proof about the quality of outcomes that you bring in somebody's life. Now, you may wonder, hey, Ajit, I am a coach and my clients have an NDA. I can't really talk about my clients. Or you may say, I'm a coach and I'm a new coach, but I have this great methodology that I have developed and I would like to present it straight away to my clients or have people enroll into a group coaching program. Well, fear not, you can tell stories and you can tell social proof by being the example. And that's the first thing that you wanna consider is are you the example of the outcome that you promised to your clients? Consider this, if you were struggling in a relationship and you've tried a few things and you're still struggling in a relationship, do you feel a little bit hesitant to buy the next program or buy the next retreat or whatever that might be? You do, and that's because you've failed a couple of times and that's the story of most of our clients. They have tried a few things and it hasn't worked out for them for very many reasons. So when we propose a group coaching program, we must become the examples first. In some way, communicate how you have transformed something in your life or your health or your business and so forth so your clients can go, if they can do it for themselves, maybe I can do it for myself. If that is not a possibility, if this is mostly a result that you've created for your clients, See if you can tell the story without mentioning or giving away much details of the clients. You can start your story simply by saying, a client that I worked with. So instead of giving the details of the client, instead of telling who the client was, you can always tell the story while, of course, being respectful of a non-compete or an NDA that you might have signed for the client. So that's something for you to discover. I'm not a lawyer. This is not a legal advice. But I would really invite you to see if there are stories that you can tell that helps your client believe themselves and also believe you to be able to create that result for themselves. And the last thing to consider if you're struggling to enroll students into your group coaching program is pricing and payment plans. See, sometimes we have individuals that really want the result, but because of their own hesitance or the stage of life they're at, maybe their payment cycle in their jobs or, or salary cycle in their jobs, they might be struggling to be able to make a full payment. Often group coaching programs are in thousands of dollars. And because of that, it sometimes is difficult for somebody to say yes to be working with you. And that is exactly where you need to show up differently for your clients. You need to ask a better question. You need to go, okay, what is it that I can do with my payment plans or my pricing that will allow my client to say yes? You wanna think about extended payment plans. You wanna think about if you can trust your audience and you can find that confidence in that uh, risk that you might take where they will pay on time and they will honor all of their payments. What I found is that it doesn't always work out. There have been experiences in my career where we built programs and we delivered to those programs and we ended up enrolling the wrong group of people. And we had to take the heat, a financial heat because of that. But at the same point in time, what I've also found is mostly human beings are amazing and they're very kind and they do want to get results and they do want the help. 
And once we do give them what they seek, they are usually very honorable people. So if that is you, if that is what you can do, if you feel called to do that, I invite you to consider giving extended payment plans for people to be able to afford to join that group coaching program for them to get that result. Because more likely than not, if they get the result, they will be able to also see the value in your program. And they will not only pay the full amount, but they will also be excited to work with you in the next group coaching program that you announce. And eventually business is about building long-term relationships, is about honoring the relationships that are honoring you back. Now, here's something that I do wanna share with you. If you feel like, I've understood why I might not be enrolling, but I don't really know how to enroll somebody into a group coaching program. Well, the next video is gonna show you that. So go ahead, click on the next video. It's gonna tell you how to structure your group coaching program. And then I would love to see your group coaching program being launched. It was so great talking to you today. Thank you so much for watching. This is Coach Ajit, and you're watching this on Evercoach.